Anything higher than that, then you're running the risk of the actual server that you're streaming to not accepting that fast of a connection unless you're probably a partner with them like on Justin TV or owned. Um, so if you're just starting streaming and you have a two megabit upload, try a 1300 bit rate and a 1300 buffer uh, and see how that works. If you have higher than that, if you have um, Fios or, or fiber to the home uh, and you have like a 20 megabit upload, then set it at 2000 bit rate and 2000 buffer. This is just to start off. You can tweak it later, you can lower it, you can um, put it higher, it's up to you. But I suggest not going over 2000 on your first stream just to get the stream working without lag and then you can start messing with it. Both lowering the VVB buffer and increasing the actual bitrate. Now under that is the resolution. Um, this is the default, I just leave it on default stage resolution. This just basically means the default resolution that you set in Justin TV which we'll talk about after this. Um, audio encoding. Now there's various uh, different formats for audio encoding. You're not gonna need stereo. Um, you can set it to stereo if you want, but I keep it on mono. And I, I put it to 44.100 kilohertz, 16 bit mono. And then the audio encoding bit rate is 3200, uh, or I should, should say 32,000. That's pretty low quality audio. Um, but the reason I do that is to save um, upload speed for my actual video. If you want to, if you have enough upload speed, like I said, if you're working on fiber optics and you're not having any problem and you're streaming at 2000 yet your bit rate is 20 megabits, then you can set that higher. You can set it to 64,000. You could set it to 128,000. The higher the bit rate of your audio encoding is, the better quality. So long as you have it on the format 44.100 kilohertz, 16-bit mono or stereo. Um, now, under that, you're going to see automatically record broadcast. You don't want that checked. It's going to record while you stream, and it will probably lag you out, and it will put a lot of pressure on your CPU. Underneath that is going to be interleave audio, video, and one RTMP channel. If you start to get weird sound issues on your stream, if the uh, sound starts stuttering or if it's out of sync, then check that box and then start streaming again. At the beginning, don't leave it checked. Only check it if you get problems in the first place. Um, that's basically everything. That's how you configure the channel. It's very easy. Um, it's not difficult at all. If you have any other questions, put them in the comments and I'll try to answer them for you. Um, and next we're going to talk about resolution and I mean that but wraps up setting up the actual XSplit client. Okay, now we're going to talk about resolution. Before we talk about resolution, I'm going to stress this once again. Unless you have at least a 2 megabit upload, don't try to stream at 720p and especially not at 1080p. Because uh, you need between a 1300 and a 2000 or greater bit rate to stream at an HD resolution. And even then, you get some issues. So if you have, for example, a 1.5 megabit upload or a 1 megabit upload, stream at a lower resolution than 720p. It doesn't mean your stream's gonna look bad. Your stream could still look good. Uh, it just means that you won't be able to do it at 720p. And if they decide to make your stream full screen, it'll be a little bit less quality. But most people don't do that. They watch it at the default on whatever page they're at. So to change your resolution, you go to Tools. Then you click on General Settings and then the Resolution tab. Now you're gonna see a million different resolutions with little check mark boxes next to them. Once you hit a check mark in a box next to a resolution, that resolution will then be displayed under View Resolutions on your main exploit window. Um, that's how you set the actual resolution that you're going to be streaming at. So under Tools, General Settings, and Resolutions, pick the resolutions that you might want to be streaming at. So for example, I selected 640 by 480, um, 854 by or yeah, 854 by 480, uh, and then I picked 1280 by 720, which is 720p, and 1920 by 1080, which is 1080p. Then those uh, display in view resolution. Now that's how you set the resolution. You click view, resolution, and select the resolution that you want to display. So for example. I'm local recording, 
so I've selected 1080p. When I stream, I select 720p. So make sure to do that and set it up before you stream. Um, if you want to stream at 720p, like I said, select 720p. If you want to stream lower quality than that, then select that resolution. There's nothing wrong with streaming lower than 720p uh, if you can't. Uh, because you don't want to start messing around and having tons of problems with lag on your stream and, and people won't watch it. So it's better to get the stream running uh, smoothly than to do it high quality. So if you can get it running smoother at a lower resolution, then you can slowly work your way up to see what type of resolutions that you, you should be messing with. Um, and that's basically it. That's configuring XSplit to get to actually stream. There's a little bit more options like game source that I'm not going to really touch on. Um, another point I want to put across is you have to stream in windowed mode using XSplit. Now, you can get around that using game source. Now, what game source allows you to do is it allows you to stream at, stream at full screen, but it's very buggy and it's in beta right now, and I don't suggest using it. So uh, if you're ever going to stream, make sure to set the game you're streaming at into windowed mode or borderless window mode. Um, that will allow the actual screen capture to happen. If you don't, then it's just going to be a black screen. Um, now, there is a way around it. There is a way to stream at full screen, and that is using a program called DXTory, and I'll be making a tutorial on that another time. But for now, I just wanted to set up XSplit and get some people a little bit more familiar with the hardware you need and the configuration that you need as well. Um, if you can't stand streaming at uh, in windowed mode, you can download a program. You can Google it. It's called Shift Window. And what Shift Window allows you to do is put games that don't have windowed mode or um, games that do have windowed mode into windowed mode and it emulates full screen so it looks full screen to you but to XSplit it's windowed mode now shift window doesn't work with all games some games it won't work with so you're just gonna have to test that to see um, I'll tell you that look out for my tutorial on DXTory and if you have any questions um, just ask in the comments so thanks for watching